Sacred Scrolls of Jubilee, Sacred Scrolls of Division, Chapter 2. And the messenger of the presence spoke to Moshe according to the word of Yahweh Elohim, saying, Write the complete history of the creation. How in six days Yahweh Elohim finished all his works and all that he created and kept Shabbat on the seventh day and hallowed it or made it holy for all ages and appointed it as a sign for all his works. For on the first day he created the firmament which are above and the earth and the waters and all the spirits which served before him. The angels or messengers of the presence and the angels or messengers of sanctification and the angels slash messengers of the spirit of fire and the angels or messengers of the spirit of the wind and the angels or messengers of the spirit of the clouds and of darkness and of snow and of hail and of hoar frost and the angels or messengers of the voices and of the thunder and of the lightning and the angels or messengers of the spirits of cold and of heat and of winter and of spring and of autumn and of summer and of all the spirits of his creatures which are in the firmament and on the earth. He created the abyss and the darkness, even tide and night, and the light, dawn and day, which he had prepared in the knowledge of his heart. And thereupon we saw his works and praised him and lauded before him on account of all his works. For seven great works did he create on the first day. And on the second day he created the firmament in the midst of the waters and the waters were divided on that day. Half of them went up above, and half of them went down below the firmament. That was in the midst over the face of the entire earth. And this was the only work Yahweh Elohim created on the second day. And on the third day, he commanded the waters to pass from off the face of the entire earth into one place and the dry land to appear and the waters did so as he commanded them and they retired from off the face of the earth into one place outside of this firmament and the dry land appeared and on that day he created for them all the seas according to their separate gathering places and all the rivers and the gatherings of the waters in the mountains and on all the earth and all the lakes and all the dew of the earth and the seed which is sown and all sprouting things and fruit bearing trees and trees of the wood and the garden of life also known as the garden of Eden. In Eden, in the Garden of Life and all, these four great works Yahweh Elohim created on the third day. And on the fourth day, he created the sun and the moon and the stars and set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon all the earth and to rule over the day 
and the night and divide the light from the darkness. And Yahweh Elohim appointed the sun to be a great sign on the earth for days and for Shabbats and for months and for feasts and for years and for Shabbats of years and for jubilees and for all seasons of the years. And it divided the light from the darkness and for prosperity that all things may prosper which shoot and grow on the earth. These three things he made on the fourth day and on the fifth day he created great sea monsters in the depths of the waters for these were the first things of flesh that were created by his hands. The fish and everything that moves in the waters and everything that flies, the birds and all their kind. And the sun rose above them to prosper and above everything that was on the earth, everything that shoots out of the earth and all fruit bearing trees and all flesh. These three kinds he created on the fifth day and on the sixth day he created all the animals of the earth and all cattle and everything that moves on the earth. And after all this, he created man. A man and a woman created he them, and gave him dominion over all that is upon the earth and in the seas and over everything that flies and over beasts and over cattle and over everything that moves on the earth and over the entire earth and over all this he gave him dominion and these four kinds he created on the sixth day and there were all together two and twenty kinds and he finished all his work on the sixth day all that is in the heavens and on the earth and in the seas, and in the abyss, and in the light, and in the darkness, and in everything. And he gave us a great sign, the Shabbat day, that we should work six days, but keep Shabbat on the seventh day from all work. And all the angels or messengers of the presence, and all the angels or messengers of sanctification, these two great classes he had bidden us to keep the Shabbat with him in heaven and on earth. And he said unto us, Behold, I will separate unto myself a people from among all the peoples, and these shall keep the Shabbat day, and I will sanctify them unto myself as my people, and will bless them as I have sanctified the Shabbat day and do sanctify it unto myself. Even so will I bless them and they shall be my people and I will be their Elohim. And I have chosen the seed of Yaqub from among all that I have seen and have written him down as my firstborn son and have sanctified him unto myself forever and ever. And I will teach them the Shabbat day, that they may keep Shabbat thereon from all work. And thus he created therein a sign in accordance with which they should keep Shabbat with us on the seventh day, to eat and to drink and to bless him who has created all things as he has, has blessed and sanctified unto himself a peculiar people above all peoples and they and that they shall keep Shabbat together with us and he calls his commands to ascend as a sweet savor acceptable before him all the days there were two and twenty heads of mankind from Adam to Yaqub and two and twenty kinds of work were made until the seventh day. 
This is blessed and holy, and the former also is blessed and holy. And this one serves with that one for sanctification and blessings. And to this, Yaqub and his seed, it was granted that they should always be the blessed and holy ones of the first testimony and law, even as he had sanctified and blessed the Shabbat day on the seventh day, he created the firmament and the earth and everything that he created in six days. And Yahweh Elohim made the seventh day holy for all his works. Therefore he commanded on its behalf that whosoever does any work thereon shall die, and that he who, who defiles it shall surely die. Wherefore do thou command the children of Israel to observe this day that they may keep it holy and not do thereon any work, and not to defile it, as it is holier than all other days. And whoever profanes or blasphemes it shall surely die, and whoever does thereon any work shall surely die eternally that the children of Israel may observe this day throughout, this gener throughout their generations and not be rooted out of the land. For it is a holy day. Holy means separate. It is a separate day, a holy day, and a blessed day. And everyone who observes it and keeps Shabbat thereon from all his work will be holy and blessed throughout all days like unto us. Declare and say to the children of Israel, that's us, the law of this day, both that they should keep and say to the children of Israel, the law of this day, both that they should keep Shabbat thereon. So it is the law that we should keep the Shabbat thereon, and that they should not forsake it in the error of their hearts or their minds or their soul and that it is not lawful to do any work thereon which is unseemingly, to do therein thereon their own pleasure, and that they should not prepare thereon anything to be eaten or drunk, and that it is not lawful to draw water or bring in or take out thereon through their gates any burden, which they had not prepared for themselves on the sixth day in their dwellings. And they shall not bring in nor take out from house to house on that day. For that day is more holy and blessed than any jubilee day of the jubilees. On this we kept Shabbat in the firmament before it was made known to any flesh to keep Shabbat thereon on the earth. And the creator of all things blessed it. But he did not sanctify all peoples. And he did not sanctify all nations to keep Shabbat thereon. But Israel alone, that's us who are in captivity scattered throughout the earth. Us in Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Dominica, Barbados, Guyana, Brazil, Haiti, Puerto Rico, wherever we are. It has been permitted that the Creator pass a law for us to keep the Shabbat. And the Creator of all things blessed this day which He had created for blessings and holiness and glory above all days. This law and testimony was given to the children of Israel as a law forever and ever unto their generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here ended the reading of the Sacred Schools of Jubilee, School of Division, Chapter 2.